scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won it all. You have won. Jehovah, we praise you. Just lift your hands and worship him. Jehovah, we praise you. We praise your name. We praise your name. May your glory fill this room. May your power fill this place as we worship in the presence of Worship 
Ji kai kare kai saya bo Allah ungo de ma kai ya bo bangi ji kai kare kai saya bo kingdom investments that you hear that there is a project in the house of God the psalmist said for the sake of your house I desire my, your prosperity I'm looking for money for the sake of your house that there is any project towards soul winning towards building of the house of God David was sitting down and he thought to himself he said how can I be in such a palace like this and there is no house for my God he said although you are so mighty you do not need a place for habitation but I will build you a house and God said you have shed too much blood you can't build me a house because of his love for God he gathered the resources so that it will make it easy for his son please listen I know that there are men of God that play all kinds of prosperity gimmicks just to get money from people. But let me tell you the truth. Do not in a bid to discredit what is wrong. Kill the opportunity for the authentic revelation of the blessing because it will tell on you badly. Hallelujah. Is someone getting blessed? Hallelujah. Hallelujah kingdom investments i never hear about anything that is 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 an opportunity to give or so for the advancement of the kingdom and not be part of it impossible no matter how little no matter how little and then your heavens are open in strange ways the thing about the prosperity of the kingdom we've done that you can get our message on financial dominion a four-part series it's not all about money that's what worldly wealth cannot it can just give you nice clothes and this but it cannot protect you a teenager killed the president of a nation a teenager with all his security one gunshot and he was dead that's a terrible life that's not prosperity are you getting my point now but daniel entered the lion's den and he came out safe hallelujah and then your giving what we know as priestly or is popularly called in the pentecostal circles prophet offering although huh, this one has been bastardized and abused because you see when it comes to prophet offering the man of god is the ultimate beneficiary so the way we flog it and cane people out have you given prophet offering can i tell you something no true man of god lives by the wealth of his congregation God never sends a man of God to be a burden to any congregation. Any true man of God is blessed by his personal obedience and compliance of the principles of the kingdom. Hallelujah. 
when the queen of sheba brought her wealth and gave solomon the bible says solomon blessed her with everything she desired you must learn to honor whatever grace that god uses to feed and bless you i know it has been abused but it is very true some of us were in different churches and we watch our pastors we watch their families and we it never crosses our heart to bless them because you say this man self how many rema does he have this one that he's preaching he's mentioning genesis and quoting revelation so what hallelujah these are kingdom principles and then giving to the poor and the needy the bible says he that gives to the poor lends to the lord imagine borrowing a rich man money ah i like that kind of business when you borrow a rich man money i gave an example when we we're doing financial dominion imagine a multi-millionaire saying please do you have 15 naira give me you will give quickly because he will not give you back 15 naira he that gives to the poor lends to the lord hallelujah that was the secret of the wealth of job job began to talk how that he responded to the need of the poor and the needy he said in the days of my youth when the secret of the lord was upon my tabernacle hallelujah so many things happened to him greed greed is what has destroyed many people in the body of christ greed there is he that scattered the bible says and yet increased there is he that withholded more than his meat and tends to poverty in this time of recession in this time of financial lack you will have to give your way to a realm of unending wealth it may take time but let me tell you the bible says the righteous will flourish like a palm tree study the palm tree it doesn't grow at once but it's growing but in one year the palm tree will blossom he said even in old age they will be fat and flourishing hallelujah is someone learning something so do you see the reason it's not just about demons and satan many of us like the fact that if i call this lady now i say do you know that there is somebody who is tying your mind they say yes i've always known please i've always known as if you have been obeying the principles of the kingdom you're not tithing you're not giving and in this era of the prophetic many people have become gullible please don't criticize the prophetic it is very important for the agenda of god it's just that it must be balanced hallelujah say in the name of jesus i receive grace the third point I spoke about number one uh, not surrendering to the kingdom number two ignorance i just digressed a bit to talk about finances then number three disobedience to kingdom principles different kingdom principles hallelujah if i ask you a question please just write it and look up i have to run if i ask you what is your basis of believing you are going to live long in the kingdom what are you going to tell me the blood of jesus or because jesus died what is what is your confidence that you will celebrate christmas in 2014 in this wickedness that we have boko haram doing everything what is your exemption what are you standing on that exempts you are you seeing why i'm there are principles brothers and sisters longevity different people want to live long I had to study for myself i told myself i said oh boy if you want to live long you better find out what the bible has put and number one is honor to parents he said honor your father and your mother every time i want to travel i'll call my mother and say how are you god bless you and i know my journey is safe for sure number two he said i shall not die but live to declare that means if you are not declaring her I shall not die there is an immunity that comes upon me because i'm an envoy advocating the agenda of the kingdom hallelujah praise the lord 
Number three, I said before you life and death, blessing and cursing, but I advise you choose life that you may live. I chose it. I chose it absolutely. Hallelujah. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So it is on the strength of this revelation you can say in the name of Jesus, I know. I know. Hallelujah. What is your scriptural basis of believing that you will live in health? Just because you are bearing a Christian name? No. Brothers and sisters, no. Just because you went to school? There is a basis. There is a basis. Hallelujah. He said, I will let none of these diseases that came upon the Egyptians to come upon you. But there is a reason. He said, no inhabitant in Zion shall say, I am sick. He said, if that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in your mortal body, that same spirit will quicken, revitalize, make alive. Hallelujah. Obedience. We must pay attention. He said, my son, pay attention to my words. Incline your ears to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your heart. Keep them in the midst from your mouth. Keep them in the midst of your heart. He said they are life, not to Christians, to those who care to find them and health to their flesh. Hallelujah. Let's hurry up. So that's the third reason why things don't go well with people. The fourth reason, which is most important, is demonic oppression. The Bible tells us that the whole world lies in wickedness. And I've said it again and again. Don't let anybody play church games with you and deceive you with suit. We live in a wicked world. The condition to be a prospective victim of wickedness is that you are born of a woman. As simple as that. You don't need to offend anybody. The whole world lieth in wickedness. We live in a very wicked world. Someone can look at you and vow and say, over my dead body, it will not be well with you. Ah, ah, they looked at Jesus Christ. What did he do? They sat down and held a meeting to kill him. And Jesus said, if they have done it unto me, they will do it to you. Hallelujah. That means you must learn how to keep the devil where he belongs. That's why he gave us power. Hallelujah. Psalm 66 verse 3. It says, how all inspiring are your ways through the greatness of thy power. Not through making noise and wearing suit. Through the greatness of your power will your enemies submit themselves. Hallelujah. Many of us have been deceived. This is a nice world. Don't trouble Satan. Satan will not trouble you. And just say, I'm not looking for anybody's trouble. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The whole world lies in wickedness. After struggling for five years to get a job, you now get the job and somebody looks at you and says, I don't like you. You didn't do anything wrong. I just don't like you. And as long as I'm in this office, because for one position for promotion, there are 10 or 5 people qualified. Everybody is going to their own babalao and you are there strolling, believing because you, are, you have a Christian name. Brothers and sisters, please wake up. As we approach the coming of Christ, the fierceness of evil becomes stronger. And it is they that know their God. Daniel 11, 32. They that know their God. They that, not they that have heard about him. They that know their God shall be strong. You see all these people gathered here? It would take God opening your eyes to see the satanic plots to stop people from coming for this meeting. But it takes an authority. Oh, this is the part about the kingdom I like. I love the fact that our the kingdom we live in is not some kingdom full of fear and timidity. It's a kingdom of power and authority. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I remember a woman came to me for counseling one time. When she was about, she got married newly, you know, and, and, and that was quite some decades ago. 
and she couldn't have a child so she went to a stream somewhere you know and all kinds of things were done for her and they told her make sure you have a daughter and before that daughter gets married make sure you return her and the woman said you may have been dead by that time he said see my son and he pointed one small boy who was just playing around he said by that time this boy will now be the priest return her so that something will be done hallelujah now the lady graduated and the women advised the mother and say madam we know you are a christian but this world we are living in just quietly go who will know just go and settle this thing and come back there are many people under all kinds of yokes who have been made to believe that once you are born again everything is over brothers and sisters it is true that in christ the old is supposed to have gone but satan will not just release you at a platter of gold it will take enforcing what christ has done for him to let you go hallelujah and pharaoh refused to let them go after nine plagues although god had given the command pharaoh refused to let them go hallelujah and then in the book of exodus he said one more plague will i bring upon pharaoh and upon egypt after that he will let you go one more plague hallelujah i'm glad to announce to you tonight the devil must give up on you finally There are many women suffering barrenness. Many people suffering all kinds of sicknesses. There are many of us, we are sitting here laughing, but nothing is working in our homes. It's not like you are not. The day you just announce in the family that there is a project, that's the day everything will scatter. Let God bless the family with small resources. Everybody gets sick until the money finishes. Then they will become fine by themselves. I was diagnosed I've shared my story some of you were born in nice families they took care of you the devil never oppressed you that's why you have not understood the implication I was diagnosed of a fungal infection I had no account of just appeared this head you are seeing was literally rotting and they told me hair will never grow on my head again I know what evil the de that's why I will live every day one of my life's mission is to give hell headache till I transit to celebrate with Jesus Christ. Mm. That my waking up every morning must be a nightmare to the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah. There was nothing. This sponge, this hard sponge you scrub the back of pot with, they used it to scrub my head. Blood was coming out. It was not out of wickedness. It was out of frustration. Oh, I know what wickedness looks like, brothers and sisters. Let me tell you. The students complained that I was irritating them in the dining hall. And so they stopped me. They banned me from going to the dining hall because I was irritating the students. When it's time for food, I will give somebody my plate and beg them to please help me and collect food. And I will stay alone. Ha! There is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus to break every chain break every chain break every chain there was a season in my family people were dying like chickens look let me tell you something my grandfather for some of you who are around the north my grandfather they were the trustees and the founders of church of christ in nigeria i come from a, a lineage of missionaries but it did not solve the problem in my family are you getting my point all the first bonds I saw the I saw the pattern. They became useless people. Either they got a lady pregnant out of wedlock, or something happened that scattered their lives and reduced them into it. I what my father's elder brother died at a particular age range. My father's younger brother died at that same time. Just thank God that by the time my father was getting around that range, we had gotten the revelation. Look, let me tell you. Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche said, 
this world is not a playground it's a battlefield if you don't adjust your mind fast you will be in for a rude shock are you getting what i'm saying i remember some years ago someone got married hallelujah and we went for the wedding in kaduna i'll never forget this quite quite some years ago and when we went for the wedding they had a step they had a stepmother true story true story there was a stepmother and we noticed that people were dancing and dropping gifts please listen people were dropping all kinds of gifts and when they had finished you know they were about to pack the gifts we noticed that the guy's stepmother just came a small gift that looked like a a small bucket you know this bucket you put flour or sugar inside and just wrapped it and dropped it and when i looked at it another brother too saw it i said kai because we we're going to pray for the wedding gifts and i insisted that we open this thing and see what is inside when we opened it what did we see a white bucket they just put a stone inside and closed it god is my witness welcome to planet earth where all kinds of people are permitted to live those who love god those who hate god and those who hate you and if you don't do anything about it they will take you to the grave hallelujah mm. many families let me tell you are suffering this mysterious sicknesses and diseases that they cannot explain just comes upon a man and a family there are some of us here you just went to the hospital for tests and they told you you have hiv you have left you you lived a pure life hallelujah something has happened in the realm of the spirit i remember somebody i think it was here is on video that he slept quietly and in the night somebody appeared to him with a syringe and said this is hiv virus injected it into him and he woke up physically with hiv I'm not scaring you. I'm letting you know that if you are not aware that this devil is not your friend. Are you getting what I'm saying? Somebody suffers in school. You now finish school. You go and serve. You graduated with first class or two and five years down the line. There's no decent job. No decent job. You want a job. The manager is saying you know what to do. And now you want to keep your Christian integrity. But you don't know how to command the forces of darkness to bow. You now announce in your family that God is calling me to be a pastor. From that day, your whole life is tied into pieces. Everything you do does not work. Brothers and sisters, I don't celebrate Satan and evil, but I'm letting you know there is evil in this world right now. But there is power in the name of jesus there is power it's in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus it's to break every chain break every chain hallelujah i shared with us the testimony brothers and sisters if not that i saw this woman i would think it's a lie i've heard about it but i i was to i was to experience it for myself a woman who gave birth to a dead baby that came out half man half monkey half man half monkey with hair if not that i was sitting face to face with this woman if i had another man of god say it i may join those saying this is a lie some exaggeration just to make the message look powerful i've seen all kinds of evil but in the name that is above all names there is an authority that must command the forces to bow see this is what happens to people and you find out that one breakthrough will just open every area of your life are you seeing many of us are struggling you are trying to fight your health you are trying to fight this whereas there is a root problem if that problem is not dealt with you may be healed but it will appear as something else i hope you know that every believer is likened to a tree how do you make a tree healthy do you clean the leaves you add fertilizer at the root 
how do you destroy a tree you deal with the root the bible says the righteous is like a palm tree is that true this is the mystery of total breakthrough you must see every man like a tree you waste your time trying to remove the leaves at once when you address the problem it's like somebody who is complaining of headache but the real issue is typhoid fever you can take panadol again and again you will receive temporary relief but tonight some things will be totally settled in the name of jesus christ you will find out one area of your life and then marriage opens up then job opens up then your academic opens up and that's when you say goodness so this is it a dear lady of us even while i was in abuja last week I, I met with her this lady had worked for four years very hard working lady she was here i remember that time it's on video also one fair lady that came from abuja and i prayed for her this lady for four years she had been working no promotion no benefits no nothing every area of her life was grounded i prayed for this lady and she went back to abuja and her boss looked at her he said come you've been working in this place what has been done for you right now this lady follows the boss and travels with him everywhere when her friends heard about it they say it's because you are fine she says have i not been here four years with the same pretty face nothing changes by itself till you force it to change it will change one day is a dream if you force it it will change are you getting what i'm saying there are many of us you are standing outside students you are you are suffering things are not working people think you are dull but you are not dull you enter the exam hall you blank out and then you will do tutorials and be helping others when they are marking scripts your script gets missing the wickedness the bible says while men slept an enemy came and planted tears with the wheat and ran away there are all kinds of people lumps fibroids barrenness cysts all kinds of nonsense all around until you know the might of god you will keep getting afraid of satan but when you know who god is you will know once and for all that this devil he was created and that he can submit to the authority of his creator who am i speaking to tonight is your season for real change you can see you can sit down and watch others there are many of our sisters here as you're sitting down right now it's not like you are not pretty it's not like you are not virtuous you have done everything you have read every book you've knelt down for every man to greet them but no marriage something is wrong it even becomes a terrible situation when it's the man that doesn't have a wife to marry and this is it's easy to understand for the ladies because they position themselves to be found what of the man hallelujah but the lord prepared this apostolic and prophetic platform to end these assaults of darkness in our lives listen many of us are the only saviors of our parents right now and our families you know we believe in family in this place right your salvation is not complete until the members he said as for me and my house hallelujah every one of us standing here came from a family and let me tell you no matter how blessed you are if your family is not changed for many years my father was grounded at his place of work his juniors were being promoted everything was working for others except him this man was almost dying of high blood pressure and one day i got angry and we had to settle the issue tonight god will settle some family so please take what i'm saying seriously i'm speaking like this because shortly we are going to pray hallelujah there are some of you anytime somebody wants to bless you something will happen to that person and just scatter him somebody says i want to bless your family everything becomes grounded there are some of us who are in ministry you have done everything you know groundbreaking prophetic match round everything nothing is growing but jesus christ brought us here tonight so that we can experience his victory hallelujah 
and in a few minutes we have to pray before i begin to minister brothers and sisters i want you to pray and say father visit me i didn't just come to watch others and clap hallelujah the power of god is present to heal no matter what the sickness is no matter what the sickness is believe is it cancer is it hiv is it fibroid is it genotype issue no matter what it is you are stranded in whatever area of your life please position yourself because god is about to do mighty things right now no matter how far you are inside or outside talk to the lord don't be joking this is about your destiny this is your chance for a change of story say lord i'm tired i'm tired of clapping for others lord visit me i want to make progress in my life but there are forces that tie me down lord is the season where you will increase my greatness i'm tired of this terminal disease tired of this cancer they've told me i have days to live i'm tired of walking on a wheelchair i'm tired of this blindness tired of this deafness tired of this sickle cell anemia jesus you died and already paid the price you paid the price already oh yes jesus paid the price with his blood he paid the price already it was paid in full he paid the price for that cancer to live he paid the price for that hiv to dry up he paid the price for that barren womb to be fruitful he paid the price he paid the price go ahead and pray and say jesus you have paid the price jesus you have paid the price for the deliverance of my family we are tired of this hardship it's not your will for us to continue in this hardship and lord like jacob we hold on to you tonight we will not let you go till you change our story come on pray koinonia we will not let you go those outside are you praying lord change my story academically i'm tired of writing jam again and again and again and again and again change my story change my story you already paid the price you already paid the price oh hallelujah he has paid the price hallelujah he paid it with the blood of jesus the blood of jesus is the price the price the devil must let you go the blood has been shed already jesus said it is finished that cancer is finished hiv is finished the devil may not want to let you go but you will enforce the word the bible says how forcible are right words how forcible are right words how forcible rise up on your feet everybody and begin to blast in tongues and say my time has come my time has come oh god my time has come tonight you will visit me as your blessing man let your eyes see me oh god as your changing stories visit me visit me visit me visit me visit me oh god that epilepsy must die tonight that yoke of financial hardship hallelujah hallelujah i believe 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The power of God is in this place. I believe. Lord, I believe. Listen. 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 Let me tell you something. Hallelujah. The man who laid down at Bethesda, he'd been like that for 38 years. There is a way a situation has been so long in your life. Even when they are telling you God will change it, you say, Lord, change the rest. Tonight, do not leave any stone unturned. Are you getting my point? Whatever it is you're trusting God for, many of us left different states. Many of us left different local governments. I like you to pray and say, Lord, for this and that and that area of my life, He must give way to Yes, Lord, it must give way tonight. It must be way. The power of God is already moving across this place. Goodness. Hold on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Powers that hold your hands and tie your destiny must let you go. Hallelujah. I see miracle everywhere. Miracle everywhere. I see miracles everywhere right now, right miracles. We see miracles, Lord. We see miracles right now. Hallelujah! Please lift your hands. Listen, listen, listen to me. I tell you there is a strong spirit of faith in this place. Listen, listen, please listen to me first. Many of you will be surprised what will happen to you right now. Hallelujah. God is going to the root of people's issues. It's not just sickness or this. Please believe me. The the Lord kept telling me this again and again. The root, the root of the issue. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm about to pray right now. I'm about to pray inside and outside. There will be such a release of the forcible power. You can't stand it. No. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of your son, there are forces of darkness that are responsible for the tears of many people and families. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, as we shout that name, let there be such a move, my God, my God, lift your hands. At the count of three, I'd like you to shout the name Jesus. As you shout that name, devils will leave right now. One, two, three. The power of God right now. I command forces, forces of darkness, yokes, yokes of darkness, yokes, bring them out. The fire of God is falling. I challenge altars. I'll 
side. The power of God is falling now. Activity in witches and wizards. Right now, Satan is prepared to go. Satan is prepared to go. Lift your hands. The devil must let you go tonight. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I see a number of people inside and outside. And I see chains all over you. Chains. As you shout this name. It's already happening to people right now. As I speak. As I shout that name Jesus. When you shout it. Many of you will hear sounds. Of physical chains dropping. Are you ready now? At the count of three. One. Two. Three. Jesus. Jesus. I give the chains. Those outside, lift your head. Just those outside. Those outside, lift your head. Hallelujah. I see the angels of the Lord moving outside. Lift your hands. Those outside, you're going to shout Jesus. There will be such a move of fire, physical fire outside. Are you ready now? Those outside. One, two, three. How about take it? Go, 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 go. go, go, go. go. I cause power. Now, by the spirit of God, I cause principalities. I cause power. I cause power. I cause power. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. The spirit of delay. 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 The Lord is talking to me now. Hallelujah. The power of God will fall on certain people. Straight up. God is killing the spirit of delay. And I see this row. The angel of the Lord is standing upon this row. Right now in the name of Jesus. The spirit of delay. Across this row. Go, 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 Sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Gabriel, 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 
Please let's save time. The Lord is showing me witchcraft. This is serious witchcraft. Gabriel, outside. That guy is outside. You are wearing something like green. Greenish, like flowery something. Green. Where is that? You, do you know me? Come and stand here. Your, 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 time, your time has come. Please stand up. Stand up. Let's save time. I give the chains. Chase. The chains falling. She said, Take a papa tapa tapa. Then grab a papa tapa tapa. Papa talaba. Let her go now. You are a devil of darkness. Release her family now. Release her family now. Release her family now. I give the chains. Hallelujah at me my brother i need to pray for you there's nothing working in your life is that true look at me absolutely nothing people just see you and see you dressing well there is not financial nothing is working look at me you are a sincere person are you getting my point you have cried you have cried there's nothing you have not done but tonight god wants to change your story bring that lady because I see her going through the same thing this guy is going through. Bring her. Let her go now and forever. In Jesus' name. Go! To break every chain. Break every chain. My brother, in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy to you, look at me. Things will so change and turn around in your life. You will be surprised. You believe this? Father, let it be done in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing military uniform. Who is a soldier? Who is a soldier around you? I'm seeing this. I live in the barracks. You live in a barrack because I'm seeing military uniform. Hallelujah. God is going to help you. Huh? You need the help of God. You have gotten to a point where you have done the best by yourself. It will take God to help you. Hallelujah. Victoria. 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 The Lord is showing me a name, Victoria. We may not call everybody Victoria. Victoria. Ah. Well. I believe when God speaks to one, he speaks to all. Where's the person I was talking to? He has gone? I've not finished, my brother. Hallelujah. Come. We're going to break the course. This, this is, I'm saying, this is, this is a yoke of darkness. Please hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, we break this evil right now. <sighs> Madam, I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing a man. I'm not seeing a woman. I'm looking at you, I'm seeing a man. The power of God is going to come upon a lady now. There will be a loud shout. Let me have that lady here. It's going to happen right now. There is a strong force of the spirit. It will, it will be so strong upon the person. Please, when that happened, break every chain. Break every chain. Look at me. I'm going to pray for you. Please, I want you to believe. Hallelujah. Come, sister. Just those who came out, don't take them back. Just, just leave them. Hold my hands. Out of her. Go. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Devil of darkness. Father, I pray for all of the people. My brother, I didn't pray for you. That was why. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Change his story in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'll just lay hands on you people. I don't know what the issue is. But as I lay hands, I'm seeing a man. Huh? I want to pray for you. 
please because this thing has tied your life down Lord let her be free in the name of Jesus let her be free in the name of Jesus please if I pray for you just go back change their story so God in the name of Jesus Christ whatever reason you brought them out change their stories as I lay my hands on you I want you to know that everything is over in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah a drama will be acted in this place shortly now look up hallelujah the Lord is asking me to release marriages this is it it will start answering from this lady it will start moving across right now the power of God will start touching people I'm about to pray I've not prayed yet it will start touching it. ladies especially ladies in a strange way God is releasing marriages supernaturally supernaturally this way just like this just like this down that's how I see the power of God moving Lift your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we have to every cause of marital delay. Leave God people now. 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 Every cause. Bring them out. Bring them out. Every spirit. Stopping marriages. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every spirit. Stopping marriages. Go protect them. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Bible says male and female, he created them. Not male and male. Not female and female. Lift your hands. In the name that is above all names. If there is any family here that their marital destiny has been tied down as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives right now may the fire of the Holy Ghost move and cause deliverance right now every spirit husband every spirit wife every devil every demon go go by the fire of the Holy Ghost every heart of witchcraft that has tied family we release you right now hallelujah goodness God is setting families free. Oh, the devil must give up on you tonight. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That girl on red, tying red scarf, there is an angel pouring oil on her right now. Right now, I curse that spirit. Go, go, out of her right now. In the name of Jesus. That's right, that's the lady. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming upon her right now. Go, go, go. Release her right now. Release her right now. Release her right now. 
Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to know you mustn't manifest and do all these things. God is just setting people free. Are you getting my point? I like us to just flow with what God is doing right now. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a lady. I'm seeing a lady. You had a dream and a dog pursued you and beat you. Please, who is that person? I, I like us to save time, please. I may not talk to everybody, but we still have a lot of things to do. Please, hurry up. Who is that person? One, if, it's, if you are thinking about it, just remain on your seat, please. This is not guesswork. This is what the Holy Spirit, because we have to pray for the sick. You're going to be free right now. You're going to be free right now. I give the chains, the chains going. Please hold my hand. It ends right now, oh Lord. It ends. Release her right now. Release her right now. God, power of darkness. Let her go. In Jesus' name. Please come, let me pray for you. I break that demonic thing over your life in the name of Jesus. I break that demonic thing over your life in the name of Jesus. That demonic thing over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. We break that demonic thing over your life in the name of Jesus. Look at me. Your family is not even you now. You are a worker in this house. And as a worker, you are entitled to certain blessings. Huh? Your family, there is a cause of hardship upon your family. Your entire family. Hold my hands. You must be free right now. Let her go. Representing her family. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. What is this that I see in the spirit? You must let her go. Because she's a faithful worker in this house. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release your family. I release your family. I release your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me the vision of a tree. And I'm seeing it tied with ropes. Tied with ropes. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. It's tied. And this is like the destiny of this family. And they've done everything to tie it. But I release it right now. I release it by the Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus and I prophesy on everybody whatever the devil has tied take the destiny of any family that has been tied be released now be released now be released now be released now, be released now. every destiny that has been tied by witchcraft Go pote -te 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 -ta. be released now. Hallelujah. 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 I tell you the breakthroughs that are happening. Many of you will leave this place, you will be surprised. Just believe me. There is somebody outside. Two people in fact. The fire of God will rush upon them right now. In a mighty and strange way. They will never be able to contain it. Outside. When that happens, let me have those people. If two people in a powerful way is happening right now by the spirit you can't stand it you will just be standing and it will come on you in a wild way like fire like wild fire it will come upon you please let me have the ladies like wild fire it will turn you you will be running 
it will happen to you, you will be running around. You will be running around. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain. Hallelujah. Who is Salome? There is a wild spirit in this lady's family. This lady you are seeing. Let her go now. This is Benway State. In the name of Jesus, release this family now. Release this family now. Hallelujah. Salome. The meaning of your name in your language is like treasure. Treasure or something precious. Who is that? Like treasure, or don't tell lies here, or please. You are the one. What is? What's your name? No, no, Salome. Just wait here. You are the one, Salome. The the meaning of your name. I'm going to pray for you, Salome. Where's your mother? She's at home. Where? We need to pray. God wants to give your family breakthrough. Out of her now. Out of her. Out. Out right now. Out. Out of her. Out. Bring them. Si para ta pare que te prega de boxa ni va so paria ta paria dos te que para ta ta i para dos palia ta va cosa que te le prega dia reteste para ta va cosa que te le va si banda va cosa I set your family free right now by the fire of the holy ghost now be free now be free now be free Out! Out! Be free in the name of the Lord Jesus. May you become that treasure truly. Let your days of crying come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please rise up. I want us to pray. I'm seeing a lecturer that is going to die next week. If we don't pray, he's going to die. Hallelujah. I'm not, I'm not a prophet of doom. God just interrupted this. Please stand up. In one minute, I'd like us to pray before we continue. And say we refuse death. I'm seeing a professor dying next week. Lord, we plead the blood. The blood of God, oh, we bleed the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah.
We are going to pray for the sick right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those of you who came with people who are sick, it's time to minister to them right now. Hallelujah. Now, please listen. I know that there are a lot of people and we want to do it very, very fast. I'm sorry we don't take too much time to announce instant miracles. Now, you know, we are bounded by time. If we're doing an afternoon program, we can take so many things. Hallelujah. So I want, it's not like we're not celebrating what God is doing. It, it would have been easy now to just ask these people to testify, to encourage us. But we don't have all of that time now. There are so many people. There are people after this meeting now may return to certain places. Hallelujah. Please and please. Please and please. We don't fake miracles in this place. We don't. We believe in the power of God. I know that many people have come trusting God for healing. And I know that some of us have come with our loved ones. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please. I want us to be orderly in this place. No fighting. No nothing. By the grace of God, we are going to minister to everybody one by one. Hallelujah. Praise God. So please and please, I want you to cooperate with us. Hallelujah. The worship team will lead us in a powerful worship song while we allow those who are sick. You came with someone sick or you are sick. Now is your time to walk up to the front. Come and stand and trust Jesus for a miracle. And make sure you are writing your prayer request if you don't have any prayer request. Hallelujah. Please. If it's someone that cannot stand, maybe if there's a way, protocol can help the people and then maybe we can have a chair or something, whatever it is. Jesus Christ. Those of you standing, lift your hands and begin to thank God for the miracles of people. Please pray. Please pray. His presence is here to him. Oh, hallelujah. We give you praise. Those of you coming out, please begin to pray and say, Lord, my time has come. I know you have all kinds of medical reports. Forget about them right now. HIV cases, cancer cases, whatever it is, genotype, don't worry. Jesus is Lord in this place. Lord, we thank you. Please, let's save time. If you've not written your prayer request, start writing it. His presence is here. Let your faith rise. Lord, my time has come. I'm not going back the same. From headache to infection, no matter how little. Oh, hallelujah. Jehovah Rapha. There is a God that heals in the house. So heal. One more time. One more time. Jesus heals. Jesus heals. You will be delivered. I don't care what the situation is. To heal, to heal. Son of man, can these bones live again? Hallelujah. I want you to know, whatever the situation is, there is a God. We are not against doctors. We have doctors here as workers. But let me tell you, it gets to a point in your life where you have done your best. When you have done your best, leave it all to Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to believe in the power of the Holy Spirit as I minister to you right now. Hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord. The anointing of the Spirit is strong and I see the angels of the Lord here. Many of you, what you call sickness is not sickness, it's witchcraft. Huh? You will be delivered from it and that will be the end of it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It's, when he's ready, he can come and join me. Jake is deeply in the spirit, so just let him. When he's ready, Jesus, I give you all the praise. Those of us who are there, please don't be carried away. Make sure you participate and let's trust the miracle working power. Especially those of you who God is calling you into a healing ministry. Now is the time to look. Now is the time to concentrate so that you will receive something. We give you all the praise. yourself God is healing people come and see in the presence of Lord be healed hold on be please healed. hold on hallelujah daddy don't cry what's wrong with you sir I, I'm suffering from arthritis since 30 years 30 years brothers and sisters 30 years arthritis Uh, and it is a sign of stroke. It gives me a sign of stroke. Is your father? Is your father? Come. What did they tell him in the hospital? Sir, he's having arthritis. He's having deep. It's not just arthritis. I'm seeing pile. I'm seeing pile. I'm seeing pile. This is witchcraft. Do you have pile? Yeah. I'm if I want to, if I want to, uh, easy yourself, easy myself, the thing will be strong. That's what I'm saying. It's pile. This is pile. It's not just arthritis alone. This is pile. This is this is an evil thing. Is that pile? Yes, sir. It's having pile. You are having pile. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You too. You are having pile now. See, this is a cause to destroy everybody in your family. It's not just your father. This thing has been there since. Since. Are you getting my point? You are not the only one. You have suffered with this pile. Even you, it has embarrassed you. It's just something you cannot tell people. Because I'm seeing that if they don't help, you will start bending. It will start like your leg will start paining you. The same thing that is happening to your father will happen to you. You've done for me what no man can do. Jehovah, Jehovah, you've done, you've done for me, me. what no one else will do. There is a name that is greater than any ancestry. You will be the first to be healed. Come, hold my hand. Pile, go now. You are a devil of darkness. I curse you out from her life in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Daddy. I bring you the life of Jesus Christ. The power of God is coming upon you. Stroke. I curse that spirit. I curse that spirit. Strength to you. I curse that spirit. Look at this. In the name of the Lord Jesus, come. Stand up. Come by yourself. Come. Come. Just come. 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 Walk. Come. Look at this! 
30 years stroke 30 years stroke 30 years stroke come on now look at look at look at look at what is happening to him 30 years stroke come on give jesus praise 30 years stroke look at look at look at this man come on son look at look at this look at this look at this look at this look at look at look at this look at this Ah. come on now hold on hold on how many of you saw this man when he was coming are you seeing this now look at our daddy daddy are you surprised i'm surprised what is happening to you right there is no penny completely hey. look at look at this come on give jesus praise 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 the spirit of god is upon me even the devil knows the spirit of god is upon me even the devil knows the spirit of god is upon me even the devil knows that i am a winner Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, there are people who believe that these things are stage managed. Hallelujah. How can you stage manage a miracle with an elderly man like this? Eh? From Niger State. This is his first time coming all the way from Niger State. 30 years arthritis. Hallelujah. I prophesy to your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be returned unto you. In the name that is above all names, I prophesy. Just leave him. Leave him. He's just sitting down. He's, he's so excited he doesn't know what to do with himself. I cannot stand up by myself like that. Before. Alright, sit down and try it again. Sit down and try it again. You know, he couldn't stand up, but help him. Help him sit down. Try to stand up now. Look at this. Help him. Oh, hallelujah. It never returns again in the name of Jesus. Whoever is responsible for any evil, he will reap what he has sown. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. Let's hurry up. When God. Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Hey! When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. Hallelujah. Please, if you are with a little child, can you guide them so that we know what is wrong with them? Let's save time. There are a number of people. Hallelujah. and a wicked person. Madam, look at me. This woman is going through a very serious situation. But let me tell you, it will change. I don't care what has been removed. One has been removed. They removed. Don't cry. It's okay. It's okay. What exactly did the doctor say? They didn't say anything. That I can no longer conceive. You can no longer conceive. Why? 
Because one has been removed and the other one is not healthy. One has been removed, the other one is not healthy. Ah, son of man, can this bones be bigger? Hallelujah. I wish this woman was here who had been burying that carried her child. I don't know if she's here. This fair lady, she's not here. I wish she were here. She would have brought the child. And let's see that medical reports can be cancelled. She's not here. Habiba's sister. Sadia's sister, she's not here. That is she around? Come, come, come with the child. Where is she? Come with the child to the shame of the devil. That's a woman they say will never take in. Come with your child. That's a miracle baby there. Come. Please come, madam. Sorry, don't be embarrassed. Clear the way for her. I want to encourage you. Come. This kind God, though. I never see in kind, no. This kind God, oh. Hallelujah. Hold on. This, this is a woman that nothing would have been able to happen. Nothing completely. But look at the fine boy. See, look, let me tell you. There is nothing that ends argument like results. You can fake a headache. Can you fake a child? Hallelujah. Madam, let me tell you the truth. You will not only carry a child, you will carry plenty of people. Please believe. I, I, I brought her out to show you. When they gave birth to this baby, this baby was looking like an angel. They were snapping the baby, right? Hallelujah. Father, every woman in this place, every family, trusting God for a miracle child, in the name that is above all names you did it for this family do it again do it again oh god do it again oh god hallelujah madam you'll be free right now look at me i don't care whether one womb has been removed or whether another one is not working is irrelevant all I know is you will have children and they will grow in wombs. Where it will come, that is not my responsibility. Are you getting my point now? The child is in heaven. Something will leave you now. This is, this is demonic. Let this woman go now. I command that you get pregnant. Give birth to miracle children. We create new wombs right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is done. You will return with your miracle children. I'll attend to everybody now. We'll be very, very fast so that we can save time. Worship team, please. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Hold on. Let her talk. Yaro na ne aje Israel. Ne aje Israel zin. She she na aiki the Nigeria Christian Progress Commission, Abuja. So say so take a few. Ya leading ya in south south. Say ya a dog guda hudu sinje sun dukeshi. So ka chile she the go fourth floor. So yet the shark is a so a carba kudi a wajeshi. Twenty December fourteen, in a pama a Israel. She ne asa na che. Am I naiki enzu? Hari enzu? Am I enzu? Look at chinde ya fadi. Anche baza yu bunga na ba. Baza yu rubutu ba. Baza yu tefia ba. Ogasi ya che tu achiga ba de treating di shi. Yai adua Allah ya gea mchi. Baza yu tefia. Baza yu bunga na. Baza yu rubutu. Na yeso yenzunge na rubutu yena magana amakofa di le bifara tefia ba. Father, in the name of your Son Jesus Christ, all the way from Nigeria by the power of the Holy Ghost, kabala tozata baranda kalibata. 
Zidelembras kuprande kalabati la kapras te presisa kapala. Mande ke pres ke latos kubari dalaba. In the name of Jesus. What's his name? Bege pochechet. Bege. Bege, we call you now. Those. I don't care whether they are broken, whatever is wrong with it. Receive life now. Receive life now. We command you to stand up from that dead bed. Stand up from that dead bed now. Your hands will write, your eyes will see, your feet will walk. Every broken bone, we mend it now. Thank you, Jesus. Mama, you will return with a testimony in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray for you. Now get you on buyer. Hold on. Buying can make his affairs sometimes go. Your back. Come on, I get the kafa. Hurry and as well. Add the kafa. They call it singing kashiabi. In Alsa. That's what? Rheumatism. I'm going to pray for you. We'll pray. We'll soon get interpreters. Alsa, Baju, anyone. Everyone. What's that your song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah. That's what? That's Baggy. Ah, hold on. Come on. Sam. But here when you walk in Kadunaba. Hold on now. Yan Kadunaba kuya walk and get in Kuba. You don't know what they are saying, just be just be there. Hallelujah. Mommy be healed of rheumatism now. In the name of Jesus. I cause that pain. Right now in your legs. Be healed. Stand up. Come. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Strength to your leg. I cause it. Pain go. Walk man. Walk. 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 Look at this. Walk. Look at this. Any any improvement on your leg? Look at, look at. Rheumatism. Couldn't walk well on one leg. In the name of Jesus Christ, it becomes permanent. Completely permanent. In Jesus' name. And your son is healed and he will return. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. We have to hurry up. Sam, sing something else, please. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. Heals me when I'm broke. Strength where I'm
Collecting the prayer request very quickly. Start collecting the prayer request very quickly.
Go! You freeze out.
healing and perfecting this man. Hallelujah. He came here with all kinds of pain. But in the name of Jesus, the pain is gone. Daddy, I want you to take a step of faith to walk. Leave him. Just support him, but leave him. Make sure, you, don't worry, you won't fall, Daddy. They are standing at your back. Try to turn and walk. Look at this. I could not use this knee before because of arthritis for six weeks. Very painful. But look at I've been able to move it. The pain my is gone. <laughs> the pain is gone. The pain is gone. Don't worry, Daddy. Don't look at the pain. Just look at me. Just look at me. Walk. Follow me. Forget about the leg. Just look at me. Just look at me. Don't take your eyes away from me. I cause evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Try to lift the leg. Try to lift it now. Don't worry. You won't fall. Lift it. Lift it. Look at. Lift it. Lift it, Daddy. Lift it. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Try walking, sir. Father, you have begun this. It, it is perfected. Me, I curse the spirit that sponsors evil. Because this is witchcraft. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And by the mercy of the Son of the living God. I command this spell from the crown of your head, Daddy. To the sole of your feet be healed. I command the knee, the ankles. In the name of Jesus Christ, be made whole. In Jesus' name. Kubash, you will not fall. They are supporting you. Please don't be afraid. Just follow me. Come. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Just look at me. Look at me. Look at me, sir. Look at me. Now come. Come. Just come. Just come. 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 Come, look at this. Come on now. Koinonia, celebrate Jesus. He's walking by himself. Don't worry, you will not fall. They are supporting you. Just come. Just come. Leave them that you walk by yourself. Come. Come. Thank you, Jesus. Come. Come on, Koinonia. He's walking by himself. Exercising the leg.
there are people here tonight trusting God for miracles in your body there are people here who do not even know what is wrong with their situation you are welcome who else will you run to let me just say something when I was when I was meditating and preparing this little exhortation the Lord said the following things to me and I just want us to write it down just three of them quickly number one your action commits my integrity your action not your conviction your action your action at the point of action that's when my integrity is committed so you can believe and not see results faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction faith is not the conviction the conviction leads to faith faith is the action are we together yeah so i look at pastor femi for instance come femi i look at pastor femi for instance and let's assume he's trusting god to heal him maybe of chest pain look at this now he comes out and hands are laid on him and he just looks and he's angry at the next person because he's saying you did allow them lay hands very well it's not the it's not how much hands are laid on you you see somehow we have this understanding you can say i have chest pain and just a touch and then they go and, and you are wondering ah, ah. you would have stayed and touched and gone around and done this now your mind thinks because time is being spent on you it means god is saying something no no the miracle listen the miracle is in your faith it happens at the speed of faith it happens at the speed of faith this guy can have all kinds of tumors and just a touch in fact sometimes it may not even be a touch just your faith like there are people now already who are healed they don't know it's just because you can't go to the hospital it says and as they spake as peter spake these words unto them the holy ghost fell on all day that had him thank you thank you very much are we together it's your faith don't come here and be careless and just sit down no assuming there's somebody you brought here for instance who was who is deaf maybe on one ear or both ears and now it's time to pray and as we are praying and you're just standing you're watching the person oh in the name of jesus if there's any dead person here be healed and you look at him and you're wondering ah, this guy let me concentrate on myself that guy will never be healed he's going to go out like that because number one you are embarrassed to take an action step because you don't want to put your hands in his ears and inform him and say they're about to pray i'll check you your ego is telling you guy don't do this if you put your hands on his ears and you pray and you check him if it doesn't happen you will turn with your shame and hold him there that's exactly why the person will walk back and not be healed are we together they mention is a case and it looks like an embarrassing case you've been healed go and check yourself and you're wondering you are sitting down there and wasting your time and then you run later after service and you come and say, Jimmy, sorry, oh, don't be embarrassed. Do you know that when you were mentioning somebody with pile, it's me, oh, I, I, you saw me, Abby? Just quickly pray for me. You are joking because you see, the result is waiting for action immediately. Please get this thing. The Lord told me this that I should tell us. Your action commits my integrity. As they went, he said, go and show yourself to the priest. As they went, as they went, as they went. The woman said to herself with the issue of blood, if I may but touch the hem of his garment, do you know if she just stopped there talking with herself, she would have gone back home with her issue of blood. But then after speaking, she still pressed. At the point she did it, there was a miracle. Number two, this is the second thing God told me and I don't want to believe this applies to koinonia. Let me be wrong at least. But I don't want to believe this applies to koinonia. But I believe this applies to other people. This is what God told me. Stop mixing God and 
any other god like traditional gods native doctors that's why i say i don't believe this applies to koinonia but i think that this is the unbecoming of the church in africa on sunday you are with god are we together on monday or tuesday you now quickly run to your village and they tell you there's somebody the guy is not exactly a herbalist he's not exactly a pastor he just has this gift you cannot mix let me tell you something god has said give us psalm 16 psalm 16 verse 4 give us verse 4 psalm 16 verse 4 i want you to read the a part one to read their sorrows shall be multiplied that do what that hasten after another god that's what i was looking for what will happen to them their sorrow it will look let me tell you please hear me i've never gone to a harbor list but i've ministered to plenty of people who have gone to them you will never get a sustainable result from a harbor list but it's my father that said we should go as a family well i know that there is a limit to which you can control that but i'm telling you you can insist and refuse the bible says their sorrows i know what i'm saying in africa many people will say oh, these people they are just young people they don't know what they are saying the bible says their sorrows shall be multiplied that do what that hasten after another god so you have something he tells you to put in your pocket before you sleep I don't care whether they ask you to read Psalm 1 or read Psalm 100. For as long as there is a genie and a charm in your pocket and you put all kinds of things and you have to get up, do something demonic, the man is telling you, go and buy a goat. Are we together? You buy a goat, they slaughter it, they turn the blood and they say it's done. Just be praying. Just because he said just be praying does not mean it was of God. Amen. I have discovered, let me tell you something. I have discovered that most people run to God as a last resort. You go to a doctor. If a doctor does not work, then maybe you go to a few men of God here and there. After they all jump and gyrate and nothing happens, somebody will just tell you, sorry, I wanted to advise you, but... You know, I don't want you to think I'm a bad person. But if you are serious, I can take you somewhere. You see yourself going to Zaria City. I said, don't be afraid though. That's how the man's face is. That, run away. Run! That's how it is. You go there. The, before any discussion, you are dropping consultancy fee. You know, I've told you here, Koinonia, hear me. Money and miracles don't go hand in hand. Bring money, let me pray for you. You can sow a seed expecting a miracle. You can be challenged to commit yourself. But where somebody says, the price for this pregnancy is 25000 And I'm just doing it for you and your wife. If you ever get pregnant, it was the mercy of God. Remember when the gentleman saw the apostle with the power to lay hands on the sick and he offered money what did he tell him he said your money perish with you for you think you will buy the gift of god it's not for sale it's priceless so stop mixing god and witch doctors you cannot mix god and witch doctor are we together if you depend on god depend on him if you depend on a herbalist, depend on him. But don't mix them. You know, one time I was counseling a very dear, a dear lady who, now this is by no means being sarcastic on any family. But I was counseling a lady who told me that she went somewhere and they gave her razor to eat. Razor. And to her shock, it didn't injure her razor like sharp razor you bring out gillette razor and now open your mouth throw it in she was scared to death but i tell you she broke that thing finished it and swallowed it no sign of blood they are mediums right they are mediums 
I can guarantee you that lady's life will never be the same from that day. Now, the challenge with this kind of people is they just come and say, ah, now I will never be involved in those kind of things again. Lord, my hands are washed. They think that's all to it. They think they are free. So somebody says, I want to get married to you. Two weeks, he says, I don't know what is wrong, but the day I said I'll get married to you, somebody warned me and said, if I catch you near my wife again. So the person gets up and says, I don't want trouble. And before you know it, the lady is 40, 41, no marriage. She loves God. She's serious. Are we together now? But she believes that everything is all. No, it's not just like that. Though. That's why God puts meetings like this to set people free. I don't know what your challenge is tonight. But I want you to know that the God of all flesh is in this place. Tonight will be a night the Lord spoke to me and I said it to us that it will be a night of massive freedom and deliverance. There are, there are people honestly who are going to stay on this thing and force some spirits to get out of the lives of people. I learned early in life that spirits are behind the sufferings of people. Never confuse physical conditions with the influences of spirits. They may manifest as different things. But I give you a guarantee there are spirits behind them. You are not just being hated for nothing. You are only one out of seven billion people. What makes people hate you? Everywhere you go, they hate you. There is a spirit. It says, for as a body without a spirit is dead. There must be a spiritual cause for that physical problem. And tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ, whatever will not let you go must leave you. There are people carrying all kinds of plagues of bad luck and disfavor. Hear me as I'm speaking to you. Do you know it's not everybody you see suffering that is lazy or bad or unserious. There are well-meaning people. But these powers just sit on your destiny and say we will not go. Because it does not take discussion. It takes the power of God to put them where they belong. Are we together? There are some of us who have never experienced the favor of God. You have had it in the lives of people. You have clapped for other people, but you've not seen it in your life. If your uncle or your father or your mother is not there to help you, you think you are finished. Because in your mind, every time you are praying and say, God, visit me, what you mean is, please, oh God, help Ejimi to be the one to visit me. But when that favor is on your life and those demons clear off the way, you'll be surprised. Hear people saying three jobs. Three jobs. Waiting for someone at this time. Now the question I want to ask you before we pray is you came with a challenge. But do you believe? Do you believe that God can give you a testimony? That's my first question. No, 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 no. Don't answer me. Do you believe? Please, don't, 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 don't just assume you know what I'm saying. I'm speaking from my heart. You're seated outside. You're seated in the overflow. You are following online. Maybe in another nation or in another place. Do you believe that God can step in? That's number one. Number two, do you believe that God can step in now? It's one thing to believe God will step in. But do you believe God can step in now? Or are you saying, oh God, my eyes cannot see well. But even if it's one that starts seeing, I'm grateful. You see, it looks like it's faith, but it's not faith. It's just an advanced form of unbelief. Lord, I hold on to you. I don't know what you will do with me tonight, but I believe you. And every instruction that comes, I believe. Are we together? When prayers, when we're about to pray and we tell you every spirit that is disturbing anybody, you don't just stand and, and you are waiting for somebody to be shouting and falling or you are waiting for yourself to fall. No. Your heart is open. You are praying. Time to release your prayer request. You don't just tell the ushers, let me drop my own and you drop it as if it's... No. You are dropping it and waving it goodbye. And saying I dropped it because you will never return to me. 
Listen, there is an attitude. The miracle is in the attitude. Not just in the act, the attitude. Lord, as I drop this request, I wave you goodbye. I cannot drop it and write it again next year. Next, next, next month. Are we together? You are coming here trusting God for an impartation and an anointing. You don't sit down carelessly. You are listening carefully. As the word of God is coming, your spirit is open. And that you believe that by the time the grace is shared, I'm walking out of here a different person. Are we together? You came here sick. Oh God, this sickness. I've been praying about it, but today, let me tell you, do you know you can decide the day of your miracle? The woman with the issue of blood said today. Jacob held on to the angel, right? And said, I won't let you go. He would have let him go and say, okay, the next time you come, just inform me. You can make it today. When I was praying for this meeting, I said, God, I have one request. Please let everyone that comes here believing return with a testimony. That was my prayer for you. I've done my own part and the grace, the grace to produce the miracle you need by the grace of God is available. The mercy of God is here to help you. Your part is to believe God enough and respond in faith. Are we together? Every part of the meeting, God is going to do a quick work right now. But I want you to believe. Please be tired of where you are. Oh God, from January till now, I've not moved forward. I have to be sincere with myself. Give me an encounter that by now, between now and October miracle service, let me return with tears of joy in my eyes. There are two kinds of tears a man can cry. Tears of sorrow and tears of joy. It says you have turned my mourning into dancing. Everything I'm telling you to do is what I'm doing myself. Don't think I just came here empty-handed. I came here with my heart full of expectation. I mentioned my own request before God and cried my heart to him. So I, I'm only a vessel, but I'm also a benefactor. Because by and large, I will still listen to this message and I will receive every prophetic word. The trouble with us is you may think I'm a worker. Oh, I'm, I'm protocol, I'm media, I am a minister, I am this and not receive. You see how the leaders in this house, whenever they are here, they forget about anything and everybody's heart is open. That's, that's the attitude. Are we together? Don't sit down arguing and say, Madam, how are you? How do you feel? That's not your business. Focus on what God is doing and insist. The devil, in these kinds of meetings, hear me, Satan waits strategically for those whose hearts will not listen to the word. They are the kinds who will go back and their situations will be worse than it is. Because you see, when these demons and these spirits leave, they have to search for a life for continuity. And you can't stand neutral. There are others who come here. There are probably people sitting inside and outside. You were invited, but your heart is already here cynical. Will God really bless them? All these men of God serve and all this, their nonsense talk. You see, that kind of attitude will not give you a miracle. Don't come to God passively. You must come to him intentionally. Are we together? How many of us are ready to walk out of here with a real miracle? How many of us believe there is a place in the word of God for your case? You believe your case is not new. There is a place for the word of God. How many of you believe that it is within the power of God to wipe your tears and give you a testimony? And how many of you are ready to place a demand by faith? Please jump up on your feet and begin to pray. Rise up on your feet and begin to pray. Lord, I place a demand. Lord, I place a demand. Lord, I place a demand. Whether you are inside outside i place a demand online i place a demand on your integrity i place a demand on your favor i place a demand on your wisdom i place a demand are you praying
Sheke pakata barata katali bata. Shem proto sovari kata. Lord, I've been doing ministry with no anointing. I've been struggling in ministry, but I place a demand that I will encounter something, an unction, a grace that will change my life. Lord, my business has refused to grow. Everything I've tried to do is not working. But tonight, I place a demand. Lord, I'm tired of this genotype issue. I'm tired of this genotype issue. Lord, I'm tired of this barrenness issue. I'm tired of high blood pressure. I'm tired of pile. I'm tired of eye problem. I'm tired of using crutches. I'm tired of poverty. Living from hand to mouth. I'm tired of failure. Tired of defeat. Change my story. Change my story. Change my story. Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. I want you to take two minutes. You are going to cry for your family. And say Lord as I stand here I represent an altar. It's not just me alone. The angel of your presence must enter my house tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Pray, pray, pray. Oh God of heaven. Step into my family. Step into my family. End that cause. End that bondage. The plague of death in my family. Bring it to an end. The plague of hardship. Nobody has a job in my family. End it all, oh God. Nobody is get fully employed. Nobody is born again aside from me. Step in, oh God. Step in, oh God. Nobody is making progress. People are just getting old. Nothing is moving. Change my story. The words you speak. Listen, listen, the last prayer point, he said, give us this day, this day, not tomorrow, Lord, give me this day breakthrough, give me this day promotion, mention everything you want, and say, Lord, today, my faith is for today, if your faith says yes, God will not say no, if your faith says yes, God will not say no, your voice and cry. Give me this day healing for my body. Give me this day a new anointing. Give me this day an encounter with the spirit of wisdom. Give me this day direction for the next level of my life. Satire, 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is giving me one more prayer point. Don't be tired of praying. Prayer helps you release your faith. Listen. Hold on, please. Listen. Amen. Listen. I want you to pray with all your heart. I told you there are spirits behind every situation. Hear me. I want you to pray in one minute that any spirit behind your seat, leave the situation alone. Don't worry. Don't mention, leave the headache. Leave what? That the spirit behind it I like you to pray and declare that as God's prophetic word comes from here, that spirit is under arrest, is on fire, and it must leave. Hey. Lift your voice and pray. Leave the case. Challenge the spirit behind it. Leave the case. Leave the case. Challenge the spirit. The spirit behind failure. The spirit behind delay. I come against I come against you. The bones I come against. Ira la de mo siniato. Be kuta na mani. Rato sata. Be kete de mo na de mo sa. Pa siniato. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The devil is in trouble tonight. Rise up, everybody. Shabarato so parite tibara. Rise up everybody. I tell you I'm angry my spirit. Rise up everybody. We have to pray. Somebody has got to walk out with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place. Bring them out. Somebody has got to walk out of this place. With a testimony, it must be over today. 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 It must be over. There is enough grace, brothers and sisters, to step into your situation. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands, everyone. There is authority in this place, not just power. There is a difference between power and authority. There is authority in this place. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Sabarato kapari kete basala bakari adabadada. Shepete kete berete kos. The Lord is asking me to pray in tongues for two minutes. Hear me. And while I pray in tongues, me. While I pray in tongues, I want you to bring all those under the anointing. That's what the Lord is asking me to do. Father, let your word go forth. I put the word of God on my prayer. Inside, outside, like a temperature, like the word of God is upon this prayer. Take a ticket, 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 Break it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, 
Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands. I tell you, fire is burning in this place. You must be free. You must be free. You must be free. Just lift your hands. Lift your hands. Right now, in the name of Jesus, every spirit, every covenant, every altar standing on your way to the next level in the name of Jesus right now I command them to leave you 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 now every spirit holding your destiny every spirit holding your destiny every spirit holding your destiny leave them now in the name of Jesus lift your hand at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus I'm seeing a sword in the spirit and on that sword I see something like a chain and on the chain is written stagnation in the name of Jesus lift your hands you may not even know this affects you at the count of three as you shout Jesus many of you will be surprised what will happen to you inside outside online let that spirit that has changed your destiny in one place as you shout Jesus, I command it to leave. Are you ready now? One, two, three. I command stagnation. Go now. Go now. Go now. Go now. Go now. Stagnation. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost, stagnation leaves your destiny. Stagnation leaves your life. E para para, e que te que te que te, e que te que tu só te manda tranquilo. Stagnation. Hallelujah. I'm speaking to someone right now whose life has refused to move forward i don't know who you are but every time you want to make progress you have dreams and in those dreams you see things holding you sometimes you see chain the lord is asking me to release you wherever you are right now i stretch my hands i set you free i set you free i set you free i set you free Hallelujah. We are still praying. They must let you go. Ladies, lift your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. I want to pray for you from my heart. Something is about to leave you now. Sisters, lift your hands. Every covenant that anyone is under here please hear me knowingly or knowingly that has tied any lady's destiny right now ta, 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 ta. in the name of Jesus at the count of three may that fire come upon you and burn that covenant to ashes any ungodly alliance any covenant that has tied your destiny are you ready now ladies one two Three, shout Jesus. Be free. Be free. Be free. Go to take a take. Be free. Be free. Inside and outside. I break it. I break it. I break it. I break it. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Lift 
your hands. Hallelujah. I saw something fly above. And the Lord said, it's the spirit of death. The plague of death. There are families here. Every year, someone must die. Every akabatike telepa. Every year, somebody must die. There are families here. Every season, somebody must be sick. I want to end cycles. Death does not just mean cessation from living. Cycles of repetition. Lift your hands, everybody. This one will affect a lot of people. Please open your heart. Hear me. Many of you may not have observed that there are cycles of repetition that happen in families. Cycles of repetition. Lift your hands. The ministry of angels. At the count of three, with all your heart, I want you to shout Jesus and watch what happens to you. Some of you, as you shout Jesus, you will have an open vision, literally, and you will see things that have happened in your family, and God will bring you a word of deliverance. Are you ready now? At the count of three, Father, back up your word. One, two, three. Spirit of death, I arrest you. I arrest you. I arrest you. I arrest you. Circles of death. Circles of death. I arrest you. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Cancel everything. Challenge every spirit. 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 Go, 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 go. Challenge every spirit. Challenge every spirit. Hallelujah. 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 We are going to be fast. But I'm going to walk around. There is a reason why I walk around. Listen. You don't have to touch me. But let me tell you. As surely as the God of heaven is in this place. When I come close to you. If there is any spirit that is holding your destiny. It must leave you. Believe me. Believe me. There is an anointing. You don't have to make the place rowdy. I'm going to walk through this road. I will come back here and I will go outside. Let's see how much we can do that very fast. Please, let your heart be open. You don't have to touch me. I'm telling you that any spirit, any spirit, I stretch my hands here. Any spirit, 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 Those of you outside here, as I walk through the crowd, 
of you outside sorry about the sound i'm about to walk here listen you don't have to touch me i assure you by the god of heaven by the anointing of the holy ghost right now right now be free i'm passing your role the anointing is upon you the glory is upon you the glory is upon you the glory is upon you be free now be free now as I pass you, God is touching you. God is touching Hello. you. God is touching you. Scriptures exalt us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, I say to my sins, 
incline thy ears to my word. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to read the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us. Because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that pain to leave right now. Go. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me someone. I don't know what it is about this role. But there is someone your family has gone through repeated cycles of losses. This is financial losses. For a while, I don't need to bring you. God is going to bring you out right now. Lord, whoever that person is right now, that's the person I'm talking about. A miracle comes for you. A miracle comes for you. I'm seeing a lady here. Looks like a small girl. You see spirits in the night. This is like witches. This is what I'm seeing. The Lord is bringing deliverance for that person right now. Right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is bringing a miracle for that person right now. Right now. Right now. Who is by the name John? There's someone outside here ministering to those outside by the name John. 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 Who is John, please? Are you John? Your name is John. Ah, there's another John. You are wearing Nigerian shirt. John, you are wearing Nigerian shirt. Is there someone like that? Do I know you? Stand here. I need to pray for you. Because I'm seeing something on your head like madness. Can we have this? Okay, thank you. Those outside, listen. In the realm of the spirit, whether you are inside or outside, believe me when I tell you this, it makes no difference. The only thing they have to lose, you can see I'm talking outside, but I'm still touching people inside. That's the same thing I can be inside touching you. Don't, don't think because you are standing far, you have a disadvantage of sound, but that's the only disadvantage. It's not a disadvantage to your spirit. Are we together? Look at me. Where are you coming from? From Quara State. Quara State. For this meeting? No, I'm a student in ABU. Oh, you are a student in ABU. I'm, I have to pray for you. I'm seeing somebody reading. And all of a sudden, he starts talking like a madman. Just from academics. And this thing I'm seeing is witchcraft. I hear what I'm saying. I, don't be afraid. I'm not a prophet of doom. I'm going to pray for you. I don't know who is trying to protect anything while you are studying here. But in the name of the God of heaven, please hear me. Because while you are studying, somebody else is hoping you don't pass. But I lay my hands on this gentleman. I use him as a point of contact to anyone here. Whoever has planned anything against you, it returns back to them. In the name of Jesus Christ. All of you in this overflow, this very one, please lift your hand. Sorry again about the sound, but I want you, don't mind, just lift your hands. The Lord is telling me in seven days, please hear me. There are five people here in this room. In seven days, God is going to give their families dramatic breakthrough. Listen. I will not touch you. The power of God will locate them right now. One. That's one. Five of them. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You don't have to bring them out. Seven days. I stand under this prophetic and apostolic voice. And I declare miracles. 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 Bring this little girl for me. Bring this little girl for me. Come, sweetheart. Let her not forget. Hug me. Come. The Lord is saying, I don't know what family this girl comes from, but the Lord is saying he's giving that family favor right now. Favor for this girl's family. Favor for this girl's family. 
favor for this girl's family. I'm seeing a final year student here. You've written your exams. You thought you've graduated. But I'm looking now and I'm seeing two courses and the Lord is saying we should change it. I don't know who that person is here. This I stand in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. And I prophesy as the Lord has spoken to me, we change it now. We change it now. Help them. We change it now. I want you to believe everything God is doing here. Believe everything God is doing. I'm looking at a family of seven people, no marriage. And God is saying, arrest that spirit. I'm seeing another family of four ladies, no marriage. I don't care who. Wait, you don't have to come. Father, I pray. I'm standing here. It doesn't matter where I stand. I'm speaking to everybody. Right now, in the next one minute, all those whose family has been tied down maritally, fire is coming upon those spirits right now. Right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, be free, be free, be free, completely free, be completely free, be completely free. The Lord is showing me something. I'm looking at this woman and I am seeing your children. I know she may not, I, I, I don't know if she understands him or not, but I'm looking at her and the Lord is saying I should wait with her. When it's time to go in, I should carry her and meet her two children inside. That's what God is telling me. That I should carry her. Someone ask her. Ah. Evelyn. 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 And who? Okay, they are inside. Evelyn and Mercy. Hold on. Because I looked at this woman. And the Lord is saying he wants to visit the woman. And then the Lord told me that two of her children are inside. That when I'm going in, I should hold her and take her inside and minister to that family. I use this woman as a point of contact. You keep hearing me pray and repeating myself. It's because there are spirits that don't want to let people go. They must go tonight. Gentlemen, look at me. Look at me. That guy is your season of breakthrough. I know that you hear a word like this and think I'm joking until you hear the testimony. It's your season of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mommy, let me talk to you. Please come. The Lord is saying I should tell you. You hear Hausa, ma? You can speak English. No, no. I need to tell you what I'm saying in Hausa. Yes. That he's going to wipe you in such a way that you will forget the pain of the past. I don't know who you came with, but I'm prophesying to you. Mama, go and write it. This thing will happen. You will come back with a testimony. See, when a prophetic word comes on you, I want you to know that the end has come. There, there are thousands of people here. If God locates you, don't, don't sit down. You are doubting. Is it really God? No, 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 no. Mama, for your children, where are they? Come. Did you tell me because, uh-uh, mama, let me talk to you. I'm prophesying. I need to pray for this person because I am seeing God doing a miracle for him. This gentleman, uh, where is he? Abuja. He's in Abuja. Yes. What's he doing? He's working for somebody and they are not even... Paid. Mama, let me talk to you. That's why I'm talking to you. You see this person, go and tell him by November a job is coming for him. I will not stand in the open. You are in Zaria here. So it's not like somebody, they ship somebody to come and stage manage. I'm saying it in the open. Go and tell him. My brother, I want to pray for you. There's delay in life. Come and stand here. Someone will look at you and think everything is all right. But if I don't pray for you, a time will come, you will be really frustrated. There's a photographer here that things are not working for. Where are you? God wants to change your story. I don't know if you're a photographer or something. Please, you see, I told us let's cooperate. I want us to finish very fast. There is a photographer here. I'm not guessing. You are here. Things are grounded. Who are you? Make sure you are not lying. Not country. You photographer business. Huh? Somewhere at Northgate. At Northgate. And nothing is happening. Do you love God? I have to pray for you. Because I'm looking at somebody who stood. You had a quarrel with somebody over snapshot and the lady cost you. This is what I'm seeing. That lady you see, 
uh, well, I'm not, I, I, it's not like I'm indicting people, but that lady you see, it's not everybody you see that is a normal human being. That lady cost you from that day, things will dry up. You have, it's, it's not like you are careless, but if it takes a person to speak a word of a curse, it takes a higher anointing to help you. Hold my hands. Return back to your glory. I prophesy to you right now in the name of Jesus. My brother, let me pray for you. Jesus is truly the answer. You see, let me tell you, brothers and sisters, you can be suffering for decades, but when God decides to step in, that's the end of it. He just helps you. Praise the Lord. When he steps in, I'm hearing Joss. Joss. You came from Joss. You came from Joss. You came from Joss. You came from Joss. The Lord wants to give that person a miracle. You came from Joss. Please, if that person is here, let me. Who? Ah, this is Mama again. We've prayed for Mama now. Oh, from Joss. I'm going to pray. Ah, ah, no, now. I will pray for her, but. No, I'm not saying your state of origin. You came from there. Not that you came from. I know, Sarah, I'll pray for you, but there's somebody else I'm seeing. Who is that? Sir, you're welcome. You came from Joe, sir. Are you a family? You too, you came. Daddy, sir, you came from Joss. Where in Joss? I'm with the University of Joss. You're with the University of Joss. I have to pray for you. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a man who has been cheated. This is what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. Sir, you came all the way from Joss. University of Joss. You're a lecturer? You're a lecturer with University of Joss. Why am I seeing you not promoted? Well, I changed from my was to the university the system is not the I'm, I'm i'm going to pray for you because the lord is saying i should prophesy to you that he's stepping into your life and he's giving you a miracle <laughs> waste your time sir ah, i'm seeing you writing like i don't know if it's a, this is like um uh, like a publication this is what i'm seeing this is a publication and a prof a prof is going to help you and God is going to honor you with that publication. No, there are many publications to write. But you will return back. This will happen like a dream. The way God is going to wipe your tears. Praise the Lord. Yes, please. There's a real issue. I'm sick. Diagnosed with leukemia. Leukemia. Don't worry, Daddy. I'm going to pray for you. We've not prayed for the sick yet. Are, are, we, are we together? I'm going to pray. When it's time to pray for the sick, I'll lay hands on you. Yes, sir. I'm seeing there's a corruption in your blood and God has to cleanse you completely. Yes, so that you will not die. Don't be afraid of death and be thinking I will die and leave my family. Ah, uh ah. -uh. God is life. He's the same God who was there for you. Hallelujah. Sir, just this prophetic word for you that God is going to lift you. I'll come back to you when I'm praying for the sick. We're going to pray for the sick now. My dear, hold my hands. I'm seeing you climb a ladder, Sarah, and the Lord is saying it's time for you to stay on that ladder. You climb up and it brings you down. You climb up and it brings you down. You climb up and it brings you down. And the Lord is saying, let her climb and not come down. Therefore, I lay my hands on you and I prophesy that it's a new season. In the name of Jesus. There are two ladies inside the main auditorium. The power of God is coming upon them right now. The power of God is coming upon them right now. They are inside. The Holy Ghost is, a, is, a, is like a volcano. It's like an anointing. Two of them inside. The Spirit of the Lord is coming upon them heavily. This is breakthrough that God is bringing. Sir, you wanted to talk to me. Don't worry. You don't have to tell me what the issue is. You understand? If we say that, you see, we will not be able to attend to other people. And it will not be fair. Do we all agree? So, I must not mention your case. Just believe me. Please have the faith that God is going to touch you. I came out like this to encourage us. So that you don't feel I am there. It doesn't matter where you stand. Just for coming to this ground alone, the power of God is there to touch you. 
Augusta, come, let me pray for you. This in you, come. I have to pray for you. I'm seeing the spirit of death. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Who brought this guy? Can I, Gina? Can you hear me? I have to pray for you. This is the spirit of death on you. And the Lord is saying I should set you free. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you. And I command that spirit of death to leave you and go forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Father, I lay my hands on this gentleman. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus. Hold my hands, darling. I, I, is it your sister? Why are you here? You came from Joss too. Where in Joss? To the water. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Where is the mama that was here? Uh -uh. There was another woman who was standing here. Please bring her. Be careful with this, our elderly ones, please. Come, let's walk here. Lift your voice and begin to say, Lord, I believe you. Lord, I believe you. Lord, I believe you. Who is this? Who brought him? What's the situation? The father is inside. We are going to pray for the sick now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm seeing charm against a family. And the Lord is saying, let it end now. I don't know where that family is. That charm, that charm. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Mama, where are your children? Where are the children of this woman? The Lord gave me a word for them. You should have been ready now. Are they here? Please, so that we move to the next thing. I want us to finish here on time. I want us to finish here on time. Are they here? Where is her sister? Under the anointing. Hold on. Please, I'll just minister to her. We don't have time. Mommy, hold my hands. I look at you, mama, and I'm seeing... Just leave the children to play. That's all right. If they shout, those ones are children. Let them play. They are receiving something as they are all playing, I'm telling you. Praise the Lord. Lift your hands. You. Out of him, now! Mama, I lay my hands on you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. What do you want God to do for you? I want God to give me a child. To give you what? A child. A child? Yes, sir. My God. Your child? I am, I'm baroness. Mm. Mm. Ah. My God. 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 Mama, how many years? Ah, uh, I cannot say, sir. Go ahead. How many years? There's a reason I'm asking you. Ah, uh, it's long. Can you remember? Since I was born, I have never given birth. Uh, Since you were born? Yes, you are sir. married? Yes, sir. You've not given birth. How many years have you been married? Twenty-five years. I prophesy to someone here from the depth of my heart in the name of the God who sent me. I say it. I prophesy from this woman has touched the core of my spirit. 
in the name that is above all names i place a demand on my office not my fate my office not my fate my office not my fate and i pray in the name of jesus anyone under any cause whoever placed that cause must die i say it again whoever placed any cause whoever placed any cause i command the ground to open and swallow that person i say it again whoever placed any cause against anyone shake it 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 erek it 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 baroko to pass it 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 brought us at a barret it 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 let it 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 record to shabari at a whoever placed any cause on anyone may the earth open and swallow that blessing Mama, where is your husband? He's not here. 25 years. You will think, me, I thought that what, this was one of her children. Mama, lay your hands on your stomach. Where is your husband? Not here, sir. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm not asking you whether you have faith. Look at me. Look at my eyes. If you believe I am sent from God, in the name that is above all names, carry your child. Ah! Carry your child. Carry your child. Carry your child. Go and return with a testimony. Mama, hold my hands. I take away sickness from your body. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for two of you. Hold your hands. Please lift it. Let's hurry up. As I lay my hands on both of you, the grace for supernatural favor, I release it upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ in the name of jesus christ i want us to hurry up please bring out your prayer request pass them to the ushers while you are doing that all those who are trusting god for healing now is your time please come out quickly i want us to be very very fast don't injure the ones who are already here it's going to be very very fast now all those outside listen those in the second and third overflow bring that girl those in the second and the third overflow, that means the overflow by the roadside, they can come in. But those in this first overflow, please stand outside. Those in this first overflow, you can go outside so that we'll save time. So that we'll save time. Let me pray for these people. Promise, come. Uh, Benga, come. Kenny, come. Um, Michael, come. Where's Pastor Femi? Come. I will lay hands on you people. You go and lay hands on those outside please make sure that the people are healed we are not playing games this is not just formality please come out bring the lady out release her now in the name of jesus i command you spirit it's time for you to go right now in the name of jesus amen let me pray for these gentlemen when i pray for them they are going to go outside don't look at them. Look at the anointing that is upon them. In the name of Jesus, that grace, the anointing, that grace, that grace, that anointing, that grace, that anointing, that grace, that anointing. Please, you go. Just pray for the people outside. And Jimmy, please come. You join me. We'll pray for those here. Now, listen, we are going to be very fast. Please, if we don't ask you what is wrong with you, you don't have to say it. Now, let me do something. Please, if you are elderly here, make your way to the front. Please, if you are elderly, make your way to the front. Our mothers, our fathers, so that I can just lay my hands on them and then they can go back. Please, I, please, some of you that are coming are not elderly. Please go back. If you are elderly, elderly is very clear. If you are elderly, we know. Elderly means you have a grown-up child. Please, please, let's save ourselves any embarrassment. Hallelujah. Worship team, you will lead us through a series of powerful worship. Now, if there are your loved ones who have not sent their request, please let them do it very fast. Because I want us to pray here now. Make sure you drop your request. 
everyone under the sound of my voice father i pray for these ones as i pray for you i don't know what the situation is but i'm placing a demand by the god of heaven inside and outside that there will be miracles in the name of jesus christ amen and amen heal the sick oh god and let there be miracles in the name of jesus christ mama please hold my hand in the name of jesus you're the god of wonders amazing god you're the god of miracles amazing as i pray for you go back to your seat you're the god of wonders amazing god you're the god of miracles your destiny i release amazing god say you're the god of wonders Amazing God, you're the God of miracles. Amazing God, you're the God of wonder. In the name of Jesus. Amazing God, you're the God of miracles. Amazing, you're the God, say, you're the God of wonder. As they pray for you, just go back and check Amazing yourself. Amazing God, testimony you're now. the God of miracles. Amazing, you are God, you're the God of wonder. Amazing God, you're the God of miracles. Amazing, you are God, you're the God of wonder. Amazing God, you're the God of miracles. Amazing, you are God, say, you're the God of wonder.
Amazing God. Amazing. Amazing. Hey. Amazing God. Amazing. Amazing. Amazing God. Hey. Amazing God. Amazing. Amazing. Hey. Amazing God. Amazing God, you're the God of miracles. I see miracles. 
King God. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You're the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. I say your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Hey, you are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. I say your name is Yahweh. God, your name is Yahweh. You're the God of wonders, amazing God. You're the God of miracles, amazing God. You're the God of wonders, amazing God. You are the God of miracles, amazing God. You are the God of wonders, amazing God. Rise up on your feet, please. Rise up on your feet, everyone. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it, shout it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that my request upon this altar must become my testimony. Say it again, I decree and declare, decree and declare that, my that my request upon this altar, upon this altar must become Shabarakatabarada. Let, let her go free in the name of Jesus. Must become, must become my testimony. No matter how many. I believe, I believe that, God that God is able to turn them, to turn them into, testimonies. into testimonies. Now listen, I want you to stretch your hands here. Don't ask God, don't pray. Stretch your hands, mention your request, mention his testimony equivalent. Are you getting the point now? There is barrenness here. I receive my baby. 
please you've had the testimonies of people let me tell you this is a covenant you see happen it's not just that we do it it's something that god said are you getting what i'm saying now please stretch your hand and begin to call the things that be not as though they were and watch the god of wonders go ahead i'm releasing my faith with you go ahead and pray with you those online make sure that you follow us we are praying on the request now I don't care what your challenge is I don't care from which part of the world you are streaming and following I want you to know that the God of all flesh we have a covenant of answered prayers in this place and we are praying on your request. Father, give your people testimonies. Give them turnaround miracles. Release jobs, oh God. Release marriages, release children. Release ministries, release anointings and mantles and graces. Release revelation from the throne. Release prayer unction. All you can ask Break for. habits, break things According That tie down the destinies of your people The power That was Stretch your hands It's an act of faith Sheba Lord, let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles for your people. We pray these things before you. We spread them before you. Look upon them, O oh God, with your grace and your mercy. Let them say for our miracles. Supernatural miracles. Release our faith in your power. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree done in the name of Jesus. Are not angels, ministry, spirits sent forth to minister to the heirs of salvation? We receive the ministration of these results and answers in the name of Jesus. It is done, Lord, exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or imagine. In the name of Jesus, we rejoice with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name we decree. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Lift your hands, everyone. Hallelujah. Jesus, we believe in you. We believe in the word of prophecy. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. It said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. You've heard me say it again. This for me is the most powerful part of the service. I know it doesn't look like it, but this is where everybody gets to receive. So I want you, we're rounding up to shout a believing amen as I pray. Are you ready now? The kind of favor you have not seen, I pray for you. You receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. The kind of favor that will bring tears from your eyes. In the name of Jesus, may it be your portion. May it be your portion in October. Strange favor. Hallelujah. Help them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Help them. I don't know what the devil has taken from you. The Bible says if a thief be caught, he will pay tenfold. I command. Between now and miracle service, October, receive supernatural restoration. Receive supernatural restoration. Supernatural restoration. Supernatural restoration. Every 
anything that comes close to you but your hand cannot touch it you see it you know it should be yours but your hand cannot touch it by faith i connect it to your hand i connect it to your hand by faith every man that says over his dead body for you to succeed may god answer their prayers You have been moving around in one place you try to move forward but you cannot make progress in october i command your destiny i command your spirit hear the word of the lord go forward go forward go forward go forward, go forward. in the name of jesus whoever has received an instruction to help you but has refused to obey i put their spirits under pressure i put their spirits under pressure they must respond to the word of the lord in the name of jesus the bible says and darius could not sleep he woke up the next day and says oh daniel has your God delivered you? I say it again. I don't know who must show up for you and has deliberately refused to frustrate you. Tonight, I put pressure upon their spirit. Everything that is alive grows. Therefore, whatever has refused to grow in your life, I command it to grow in October. hallelujah October has the number 10 and 10 means the end of one circle and the beginning of another circle I don't know what it is that has refused to end and I don't know what has refused to begin I end what must end and I begin what must begin I say it again I end what must end and I begin what must begin believe it believe it believe it Have that lady please i i say it again i end what must end and i begin what must begin anyone under the sound of my voice call jobless in the name of jesus between now and the next miracle service i don't know how it will happen but return with a miracle job Return with a miracle job. My God gives you a job. Anybody due for promotion and has not been attended to, I don't care who needs to attend to you, it's a human being. In the name of Jesus, may the God of all flesh compel them to respond. There is a cause that makes people poor there are principles people break but there are spirits that help people become poor anything called poverty around your vicinity in the name that is above all names this is the month you will rise above it this is the month you will rise above it hear me all the seeds you have been sowing all the tithes you have been tithing, every foul prophet's offering that has refused to bring that harvest by prophecy the bible says a time will come when the reaper and the sower it says the reaper will overtake the sower i command that kind of miracle in your life now an answer to your giving speedily an answer to your giving speedily.
speedily. Two more prayers. The anointing it takes for the next level of your life. For every level there is a grace, there is an unction. I pray for you. The anointing that must land upon your head to grant you grace to rise. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Throughout this year, your family members have not testified. I force them to testify this month. I force them to testify this month. Whatever has made you cry. You have cried in the secret. You have cried in the open. And you have said, Lord, why won't this thing work? This month, let it work. This month, by wisdom, let it work. By favor, let it work. By divine direction, let it work. God says, secretary, let it must work. It must work by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. It must work. Hallelujah. These hands you are lifting. Whatever has stopped them from holding blessings, I put an anointing upon them. May they magnetize all kinds of blessings. I put an anointing on your hand. Let it call blessings. There is a kind of honor that God can put upon a man that can separate him from his equals. In this month, strange honor may it be yours. Strange honor may it be yours. Everything that has destroyed your prayer life, you try to pray and you cannot pray. This month you will pray more than all the months combined. Go take a parata. Take it, take it, take it, take it. This month, you will pray more than every month before. An appetite for the word of God. An appetite for the study of scripture. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for every business here. Shabarakatobada. In the name of Jesus, although it is said this recession, may this month bring your greatest harvest. Believe me as I pray for you, may this month bring your greatest harvest. May somebody see you and just like you. I say it again, may destiny help us see you and like you. No strings attached. May someone see your family and like your family. Listen. I believe in the ministry of help. Many of us don't like it. Without the help of God, you will die like a chicken. There are men who are anointed and sent to come and help you. When David was in Adulam, some people came and helped him. I pray for you again. Your helper, may he show up this month. May they show up this month. Helping you to get jobs. Helping you to connect for marriage. Helping your business. Helping your family. Last prayer point. Some of you are moving, but you are not moving fast enough. God prophesied to you that by December, some things should have happened. You agreed with God at the beginning of this year that by December, some of you agree with your husbands and wives and said, this is what we agree, but it has not happened. If you keep quiet, that's how December will finish. But I agree with you. There are still a few months left. You are even saying God should do it by the end of December 
but may he do it by the end of October October will not pass till you carry your testimony I prophesy preservation upon you no accident no death and in one minute let's pray for Nigeria Our time is gone prophesy in one minute we are responsible citizens we pray for this nation Nigeria rise and fulfill your destiny Nigeria rise and recover all that was lost Nigeria rise in mighty victory Nigeria rise yes Nigeria rise Father, we agree with you in the name of Jesus that you will step into this nation and change everything. You founded this nation. This is your nation. Step in and give miracles in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Our time is gone, but I cannot end this without giving an opportunity. Keep standing, please. No moving around, please. Let's respect this. Very quickly, in one minute, there are people here. You have seen what God has done. And while you were standing watching all these miracles, the Lord began to speak to you and said, am I not worth having a relationship with? And you've been waiting for an altar call to come. There are some of you, you have a relationship with God, but for some reason, you have left God and derailed. Please, our time is gone. Young and old, especially for those of us who are outside, you are saying, man of God, please lead me back to the cross. I love Jesus with all my heart, and I want to start afresh wherever you are. Please, I want you to run and come out right now. I'm only going to count one to five. Don't wait for someone. God bless you. People are coming. Please clear the way for them. One. Two. Please, quickly, our time is gone. thank you so much for those of you who are out it's the beginning of a new season do not be ashamed of yourself there's nothing to be ashamed of it's like receiving an award lift up your right hand and say after me jesus i love you truly and with all my heart i declare right now please if you're joining them join them quickly and continue with this prayer jesus i believe in you i receive eternal life into my spirit and i declare that from today i'm a child of god holy spirit come and live in me make me a new person give me a testimony in the name of jesus I break the power of sin over your life. I decree and declare that you are free from today. I declare your sins forgiven. I declare that in the name that is above all names, you rise to a new dimension. Fresh hunger for the things of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Hallelujah. Now, please, I want you to follow the ushers. Two of you gentlemen, you didn't pray. The ushers will lead you to pray that prayer. Now, everyone, please follow the lady waving her hands. Please make sure you follow her. They are going to give you some details and then pray with these two gentlemen they didn't join us to pray so please let them pray it hallelujah god bless you dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua salmon and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.